Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. In this video, I will explain you complete analysis and designing of floating column and structural building model by using ETAP software. So in the previous class, we are done with complete analysis and designing of apartment building structural model by using ETAP software. In this class, we will do the analysis and designing of floating column and building by using ETAP software. Firstly, I will explain you the introduction. So this is the basic document which is generally helps to give us some idea regarding the floating column. I will provide you this document in the floating column and folder. You can download this document. So you can see this is the floating column and building which is consisting of the removing of the external columns. Basically, floating columns are two types. One is related to the internal floating column and structure and two is related to the external floating column and structure. So this is the building model which is related to external floating column only. Why? Because if you draw the plan for this particular structure, it will be like this. So it will be consisting of the column here like this and it will be consisting of base here like this. Horizontal sections also here like this. So we are removing this external floating column. So for this direction, x direction, so it will become the structural model of external floating column. In the same process, if you remove the members which is related to the inner side of the building, like this is the center building column. If I remove the center columns, two columns, then it will be comes under the internal floating column and building. So generally floating column and will be uh, helps to increase the parking space and open space in the ground level, but it will have high amount of the deflection value when you decrease the members. If you provide the floating column and structure, generally we will prefer to go with addition of extra columns in the up stories so that it will help to decreasing the, the deflection values. Now we can see this is the floating column and general structure. It will be consisting of external floating column and structure and story wise floating column and structure. This is the internal floating column and structure which is provided at uh, first story and this is the external floating column and structure which is provided for this building. So now we can see these are the basic uh, floating column and building examples which is provided here. Now we can see this is the floating column and structure alternative floating column and it is provided here and this is the floating column and work, vertical setback building. So now I will explain you the building structural model with external floating column and structure by using ETAP software. So for that just I am selecting my ETAP software here. Click on the file option, click on new model option. So here we have to select the use built in setting, select metric SI Indian IS 800 IS 456 2000 click on OK. Now here I am entering number of the lines which is consisting of 7 members in horizontal direction and y direction also. Each will be consisting of 4 members I am assuming here and number of stories I am assuming as 8 numbers here 3 meter 3 meter click on grid only option click on OK. Now after this we have to define the material properties for the floating column and building just I am assuming the grade of the concrete is M30 grade with HYSD of 550 grade steel provision standard system. So initially we will define the properties. So for that go to click on the define option, click on the material properties, add a new material, select Indian which is related to concrete as per M30 grade, click on OK option. Now I am selecting add new property which is related to the rebar as per the HYSD bar of 500 grid. Click on OK. Again we will click on OK option. Now we will define the beam sections, cross sections as well as the column section. Go to define, section properties, frame section. Initially we will delete all the properties by selecting this option. This time deleting these properties. Click on OK. Now I am selecting add new property. So initially I am selecting the column C which is related to the M30 grade concrete provision with the dimension size let us consider uh, 460 cross 460 just I am considering 460 cross 460 is the dimensions for the column click on the reinforcement option we will select the column according to HYSD 500 500 just I am selecting this as 4 numbers 4 numbers bars which is exist for the column click on OK option 
again we will click on ok now i am selecting islb click on delete property click on ok now i am adding the another property which is related to the beam property section next i am giving here beam which is related to 30 m30 grade provision system with depth as just i am taking 460 this is just i am considering here as width as 300 section click on reinforcement option again we will change that to beam section here 500 500 so select this as 30 as well as the 30 for the cover click on ok option again we will click on ok option now we will click on ok now after this we hit we have to define the slab section go to click on section property select the slab section delete this property add modify property which is related to just i am taking m uh, 150 mm dimensions for the slab just i am assuming here slab thickness will be of 150 click on ok click on ok now after this we have to select one story option to all story option select the beam cursor option here select the property which is related to the beam just i am drawing here like this in the same process we will select the i section which is related to the column section here change the property from beam to column here like this now after this we will assign the slab section this time selecting the slab which is related to the property of slab 150 just i am assigning here like this so after assigning all the properties we have to delete the properties at the ground level which is related to the slab go to select option stories just i am selecting base click on select option close option go to edit option click on delete option so that it will delete the all the properties at the ground story for this building now after this we have to make this structure as floating column on building so for that just i am deleting all the external columns which is existing here in this particular building structural model for that go to uh, first story which is related to the z equals to 3 meter height just i am selecting the columns here so you can see this is the column one column just i am selecting before selecting the column firstly we will change the all story option selection option to one story option selection just i am selecting here one column this is the one column this is the column this is the column this is the column in the same process i am selecting all the columns which are generally used to make the structure as external floating column on building so you can see here i have selected all the column section go to click on the edit option click on delete property so that it will delete the columns which is related to this particular structure external so you can see here it was done with complete uh, deleting of the property it was uh, made the external floating column we will rotate this model we will see that particular structure now you can see this is the floating column we are made here like this after this we will assign the load cases go to define option load patterns so here i am selecting earthquake load in x direction condition which is related to the seismic loading condition system as per the consideration and just i am selecting is code which is of 1893 code click on add in the same process i am adding the load case which is a y direction condition also so just i am selecting wind load in x direction just we will consider the wind as per the is code provision standard system click on add just i am selecting the wind load which is related to the y direction condition system click on add option now we will select the earthquake load x modify lateral load direction will be x just i am assuming here and per code value 0 0.16 i am assuming here click on ok again i am selecting modify this will be comes under the y direction condition per code value is 0 0.16 click on ok wind x just i am selecting here and uh, here i am assuming 44 which is related to the terrain 3 so 0 0.86 is the value here and we will select the modify show related to 0 comma 180 in horizontal direction distance click on ok option click on ok after this we will define the wind load in y direction condition system so which is related to the 44 and terrain category of 3 0 0.86 value click on modify option click on select the 90 as well as this is 270 degrees click on ok option click on ok option again we will click on ok option now after this we will assign the load cases for this building for that initially we will select all the building structure go to assign joint load forces add, add to existing condition select the force 1 1 1 1 1 1 for the global force as well as the moments click on ok after this we will apply the loads which is related to the uh, external wall loading condition internal wall loading condition parapet wall loading condition which is the sum of 24.3 kilo newton per meter as per the considerations we will apply for the beams go to select option for that select properties 
related to the frame section select the beams it was selected here assign frame distributed at to existing 24.3 here just i'm adding here 24.3 click on apply option after this we have to click on okay option for the building structural model so after this we will apply the uh, load which is related to the floor load condition system for the slab just i'm selecting the property which is related to the slab yes 150 select option close option assign shell loads uniform change uh, dead load condition system here assume uh, we will change the replace uh, existing to add to existing click on apply now after this we will apply the live loading condition system for the building go to select all the structure again we will change the live load just i am giving as 5 kN per meter square click on apply option again we will click on ok option now after this we will apply the support conditions at the base go to select option select by story level just i am selecting the base click on select close go to assign joint restraints fixed support condition click on apply option so that it will apply the fixed support conditions at the base for the building now after this we will define the load combination go to define option for that we have to select here load combination according to concrete frame design sorry concrete frame design as well as the concrete slab design click on ok option so that it will add the load combination according to the consideration now we will do the analysis process for the floating column on building external floating column on building by using e tab software for that go to analyze option check models initially we will check for the joint checks here click on ok so that it will check for the joint checks for the building Now you can see it was done with complete join checks. Go to analyze option, set load cases to run, click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structural model according to the consideration. Now we can see here because of the presence of the external floating column on structure the building is deflecting here like this. I will show you this in elevation view just I am clicking on the apply option so that you can able to see this particular deflection diagram. Now we can see it was done with deflection here like this. So these are the values of the deflection at different different locations. Now we will see the shear force diagram go to display forces frames pandilla force select shear to to click on apply so that it will show you the complete shear force diagram for this model and click on bending moment diagram it, you can check the bending moment diagram also now after this we will check the torsion click on apply option so that it will display the torsion diagram according to your considerations of the load cases now after this we will design this building so before that firstly we will add the slab, uh, strip condition system for the slab by using this uh, e-tap software so for that initially we will unlock the model this time selecting this unlock model click on ok we will add the strip condition system for the each and every slab so go to edit option here click on add edit grid strips we will select the 8th slab click on apply again i am selecting direction which is related to the y direction condition system for this grid section with the strip layer is b click on apply in the same process we will apply the strip condition system for all the slab sections Here you can see we are done with complete applying of the strip condition system for the all the slab section from the first slab section to the eighth slab section under the considerations of the floating column and building. Now we will do the analysis process. Go to analyze option, check models initially. Again we will check that. Click on the run analysis option. Now it was done with complete analysis process. Now we will design the frame sections as well as the slab. Concrete frame design, revised preferences, okay. Go to design option directly, click on the concrete design, start designing check option. So that it will start designing of the frame members for the beams as well as the columns.
Now you can see here it was done with complete designing but here some of the beams are failing here. So we will go to design option again. Click on the slab design. Select here. View revisor preferences. Click on OK. Again go to design option. Concrete slab design. Select start designing check. Now we will select the stories. Click on OK option. So that it will start designing of the frame sections. Designing of the slab section according to the consideration. Now here you can see it was done with complete designing of the slab. We will save this model. Now we will open the same model in CSI detailing version. So just I am cancelling this. Click on CSI detailing. Select file option here. Click on new detailing option. Open ADP file. This time select floating column and float. Now it was done with complete importing process of the members data. Click on OK. Select detailing units initially. Select uh, kilo newton is the load. Rest of the parameters will be same. So we will select the set as SI system. Click on OK. And we will select the preferences according to IS code provision standard system for the building. Click on OK. Again we will select the rebar rules option. We will select the minimum uh, spacing, maximum spacing for the bar. This time I'm considering minimum spacing will be of 150, maximum will be of 450 for this structure. Again, I'm selecting for the beam. This time I'm taking 150 is the minimum. 150. Again, 150. Maximum will be of 450. Just I'm taking here. Again, I'm taking 450. Last one is also 450. Click on select the column. This is 150. Again, I am selecting this 450. Click on OK option. Directly click on OK option so that it will design the uh, structural members according to IS 456-2000 for the floating column and building, external floating column and building with the help of the ETAP software. Now, I will show you the design results according to the considered load cases. So, you can see directly just I am selecting here as rebar cage view option so that it will load the complete rebar cage view for the building structural model according to the 8th story. You can check the results which is inside in this particular section according to your considered results. So here you can see this is the complete rebar results for the slab. This time selecting the beams in the same process. Click on concrete beams. Click on elevation. Select any one of the floor. This time selecting here. So here I am selecting story number 8, 8CB1. So click on elevation. This is elevation. This is the rebar diagram. So directly click on the rebar cage view so that it will load the rebar cage view for that particular story. In the same process, you can select the column. Just I am selecting here, column section. So here I am selecting CC16 so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results for this particular CC16 column. So this is the complete process of designing a floating column and building structural model by using ETAP software. Some of the beams are failing here. You can increase the dimensions of the beams and columns for this building so that it can get the complete reinforcement design results for this structure. We will see in the next video. Thank you.